As you'll be able to guess from the title and thumbnail of this video, I'm going to be discussing about Minecraft. In latest news for Minecraft, Notch, who is the creator of the beloved game Minecraft and majority shareholder for Mojang, has made some major and frustrating changes to Minecraft's copyright rules and EULA towards online servers. From now on, Minecraft servers will no longer be able to take your money for VIP memberships, in-game tokens, in-game advantages, and other bits and pieces. Although this is a good thing that everyone will be on an even playing field and that we can no longer waste money, you will not get your money back. So if you're one of those people who spends hundreds of dollars buying in-game tokens so you can be on top of the world where everyone can recognize you, you will not get your refund. So all money used to world servers have now been a total waste. But why is this a big deal? Why now? And why does Notch care? Good question. The reason why it's a big deal is because this means that most servers will now be limited and some even closed down forever. The Hive, which is a server ADOS 10, Captain Kelly, Colbrys 4 and myself play on to record Minecraft footage for Blue Gazoo, will now lose funds made from VIP subscriptions, in-game advantages and tokens. This could mean that the Hive may not have as many days left. The same thing could be happening to your favourite servers. Server hosts are now only have till the 1st of August 2014 to make these changes, otherwise there will be busy days in the courthouse. On Notch.com, Notch wrote a blog about changes being made on the situation. On the blog, Notch says the EULA for Minecraft says you can't make money off Minecraft. If you make mods, they have to be free. If you host a server, you can charge for access to your hardware, but not for individual elements in the game. Once YouTube and stream got bigger, we added specific exceptions saying you can totally monetize video content about the game. Some privately run Minecraft servers do charge for in-game items, for XP boosts, for access to certain game modes. Some of them even charge quite a lot. I don't even know how many emails we've gotten from parents asking for their hundreds of dollars back. Their kids spent on item pack on a server we have no control over. This was never allowed, but we didn't crack down on it because we're constantly incredibly swamped in other work. So all this time when Mojang could have prevented this, their excuse is we're constantly incredibly swamped in other work. And that's not good enough. Mojang and Not should have made these meetings years ago in order to fix the problem. Because servers may be closing down, Mojang have created Minecraft Realms. Minecraft Realms is a safe, simple way to make online servers for only $13 a month. Servers will be available 24-7 and has recently been released worldwide. But is this Mojang's solution? If we don't want Realms, we want our servers. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and we'll try to answer them. If you would like to know more about information on other games like Destiny, Assassin's Creed Unity, Snapshots, or future updates, then leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching.